Yesterday, my friend Amit said that you can send letters or chat with your friends through the internet. Is it true? Yes, Renny, it is true. But how do we use the internet? I don't know anything about the internet. Don't worry. Let me show you a few things about the internet. The internet is a technology by which millions of computers are connected to one another to share information. How are so many computers connected to each other? Cables, telephone wires or some wireless media of communication is used for internet connection. So these computers with internet connection can easily access the information available from all around the world. For what other purposes can we use the internet? Let me tell you about some of the things that you can do with internet connection on your computer. Share information with others. Send and receive email messages. Search information on any topic. Chat online. Listen to music and watch movies. Buy or sell products. Online banking. Participate in social networking. Play online games. What do we need for an internet connection? The following things are needed for an internet connection. A computer. A telephone or cable line. A modem or a network card. Software or web browser. A company providing internet connection. Let me tell you about some of the terms used in internet. World Wide Web or WWW is the largest collection of information in the form of websites on the internet. Tim Berners-Lee is the founder of the World Wide Web. A web browser is a software which is used to open different websites. Microsoft Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome are some of the most commonly used web browser. A website is a collection of related web pages that provides information. It is just like a book with many pages. A web page is a part of a website. It contains text, pictures, sounds, videos or animation. How can so many things be kept in one place? It is actually stored in an electronic form on a computer connected to the internet. Now let's discuss about the different parts of a web browser. There are four main parts of a web browser. They are the menu bar navigation bar, location bar and the display window. The menu bar is present at the top of the screen. Let us learn about the different options of the menu bar. The file menu is similar to other office programs. One can open save, print and exit file. The edit option allows the user to cut, Copy and paste some web documents. The view option gives you option for customizing your web browser. Favorites allows you to store, link or go to your favorite web pages. Tools provides quick access to news and email programs as well as option to personalize your browser. The help option gives you access to information and tips that are related to the Internet Explorer. But who gives us Internet connection to our computers? The Internet connection is provided by companies known as ISPs or Internet Service Providers. They give us access to the Internet for a fee. BSNL, Tata, Airtel and Reliance are some of the internet service providing companies. The navigation bar is at the top of your current screen. 
These are the options on the navigation bar. The back function shows you the previous web page you were on. The forward function sends you head to the next web page. You are only able to use this button when you have previously used the back button. The stop option is used to stop a web page before it loads. The refresh option is used to reload a page that is not being displayed properly or if it takes too long a time to load. The home option is used to return you to your home web page. It is the page which you can see when you open the internet for the first time. The search option opens a search program that helps you to find keywords on the internet. The favorites option opens a list of website addresses saved by the user. The history option lists the web pages you have visited by date. The mail option opens the computer email program. The print option prints the web page you are currently looking at. The location bar contains the address line which shows the address of the website you are currently at. You can also type the address of a website that you would like to visit in this box. Clicking on the drop down arrow will open a list of recently entered addresses. So Reni, I hope that you will now know how to use the internet. Yes, of course, Clico. And also thank you, Clico, for your help.